Finally, we need to tackle the, the problem that HTTP is stateless. We, we would need to re-authenticate the user each time they try to access a page or a route where we have said you need to be authenticated to access this. Uh, this is obviously not a good user experience. And the way we're going to tackle this is with cookies. Cookies, they will store some some information about who the user are, or are they authenticated, and also how long is this uh, cookie valid for, or this session valid for. So when the user log in on the server, we create and securely sign a cookie that we then send back. And then the, the browser would store that cookie so that, let's say, for the next week or however long we set it to be valid for, the user will be able to access these uh, protected resources because the cookie will be sent uh, with each future request. So this is essentially what authentication is, how uh, secure passwords work and how we are going to how we're gonna tag by using cookies so our users can stay locked in uh, for a certain amount of time. And in the next videos, we will be starting to work on expanding the database with the tables we need and then starting to implement all the logic for authentication user, authenticating users by creating a login form and, and all of this, the elements it is needed to have an authentication system.